All right, hello everyone. We are on paper trading. Uh, I've already hit the profit limit for my top step, step two. Maybe I'll get funded next week. We'll see. Um, so we are on paper trading. I will uh, finish out the day strong here. I'll, I'll go to the cash session uh, a little bit over two and a half hours. We're currently sitting about to open up the uh, New York PM session at 1330. Um, so earlier I was t teaching you about standard deviation projections in the last video. We're going to paper trade this. This is not real. So paper trading. See it in the bottom. Uh, so assuming here using our standard deviation projection this is a measuring gap we're up around one standard deviation of that right now um, if this thing wants to make a new high of the week new high of the day that would be two standard deviations up there so I don't know if we get there I doubt it But assuming that we move up two standard deviations, I will put a sell limit in the market just shy of that, sell one. We are paper trading, my friends. We are paper trading. This is not real. Okay, not real. Quick uh, SEC CFTC disclosure. I'm not a licensed financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Trading involves substantial risk of loss, including more than you initially invest. Simulated trading may not account for real life market conditions, including periods of illiquidity in the market. Leverage may work for you, it may work against you. Okay, we're on the paper trading, and we're going to be on here for two hours. You people really don't like clicking the like button or the dislike button. I get a lot of interaction with these videos. Mostly you just click on it, click off. It's a lot of good shit here if you're following. It's my journey into professional day trading if I can get there. You shan't see. Shall see. Okay. So I was trading this on my top step account. You can go find live futures trading in QNY AM session Friday, June 30th, 2023. That is up on my channel. You can go watch me trade my top step live. We're now on paper trading. If this is not the high of the week, I think that we're moving a standard deviation higher. That would take us into premium order block. So Let's check out our one minute chart. A swing lower should be initiated with a breakaway gap. It should be initiated with an inefficiency that does not uh, get closed. It should be initiated with a gap that remains open. And you can see we don't have that yet. So I'm not of the opinion that we're moving lower just yet. As a swing moves uh, it should create a breakaway gap, breakaway fair value gap. You can see pretty much every swing that goes somewhere, 
does that. Almost all of them. Yeah, there it was right here. Had a breakaway gap right there. So, the price moves from standard deviation to standard deviation. And in order for price to come back lower, I would want to see a fair value gap, which does not get traded back into. So, I want to see displacement lower. I want to see a fair value gap that is not um, traded back into. Came above internal liquidity here. Looking at high, low, lower high. Probably not getting the second standard deviation higher. Probably just looking at a one standard deviation swing here for New York lunch. And then back down. I think, um, let's get on our regular trading hours. Let's get off this electronic bullshit. I think we're probably coming back down close the day 251 spot 50 what I'm thinking we are paper trading folks uh, I was using top step trader earlier caught a swing down only need one swing doesn't even matter if any of my ideas are wrong now I made the I made the profit limit that being said uh, I want to spend the time that the market is open during regular trading hours I want to spend it tape reading getting practice in. See, we have no open inefficiency right now, so we're, we might be moving higher. Although, we're at one standard deviation using this yellow box as a measuring gap. We're at one standard deviation higher, uh, which for an intraday retracement would make sense. See that our move higher on the AM session was two standard deviations. Retracement higher would make sense for that to be one. It's roughly one. Not perfect, a little bit, traded a little bit above that. But if we're going higher, my sell limit would get filled. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. If you uh, day trade futures, you want to watch somebody doing it live and struggling, you can watch me. This is it, the candles are moving. 12 minutes until the New York PM session will open. That's 13.30. I'm a box trader. You can see all the indicators that are on my chart. Lots of boxes. Box trader. Yellow box is a measuring gap. Didn't get fully filled. Midway point of a swing. Green box. Standard, de standard deviation projection from the measuring gap higher. So from the swing low down here to the measuring gap higher. It's one standard deviation. Just traded uh, a little bit above that. Got a high, got a lower high. Now creating some displacement. We're going to get short one. And into the day to day paper trading, gonna be looking for that. Could trade all the way up to two standard deviations, which would be up here. But as this is a midday retracement, I don't think so. I don't think so. This cannot be, this is a common gap, balance price range common gap. It's a common gap, not a breakaway gap or measuring gap. You know that because it was rebalanced, so re-delivered, rebalanced. So this balance price range here cannot be a breakaway. Price will need to make a displacement lower, get a gap that does not get traded back into, not re-delivered.
leave it open. That's what you want to see if you want price to break away. Need a displacement that does not get traded back into. We don't have that right now. We are paper trading. We are training. So no sign of a breakaway gap right now. Advanced gap theory. I'll put that in the comment pinned comment box. Well, my one hour chart. Next. My subscribership is growing. Appreciate that. Y'all people don't interact enough, though. Come on. You're watching me do the shit that you want to do, right? Doing it live, kind of. I just don't really want to talk to you or interact with you in the chat box because I need to focus myself. So, at the kaketa, tak tochna. Um, all right. If this wants to make a new high of the week, standard two standard deviations would be up here. Second green box I see as unlikely, maybe half of the green box. I see that as unlikely. I think we're going to get a one standard deviation projection here. And I want to see displacement lower. I want to see a gap form that does not get traded back into. Um, at this point, it's difficult for me to say, uh, but I do think we're coming back to thank God it's Friday 20%. And or thank God it's Friday 30% in the PM session. Breakaway gap is a gap in the price chart. Could be a fair value gap. Could be any any of the gaps or an actual gap that does not get uh, refilled, redelivered, rebalanced. That's a breakaway gap. It's the start of a move. And then a measuring gap measures the midpoint of that to some standard deviation amount higher. Could be one, could be two, could be three. Could be more than three. Usually it's one or two. That's kind of one of my favorite tools now. I really like using the measuring gap, advanced gap theory. Really one of his better videos. You should go watch it. Uh, Inner Circle Traders Advanced Gap Theory really gives you an idea of where to take profits. Um, you really shouldn't go for the full standard do two deviations. You should take your profits short of that. Okay, we're getting a displacement lower. And I want to see if this thing remains open. So you need to know Michael's different tools and what they're used for. So a lot of you think that his whole toolbox is like the same, and it's not because you don't you know you watch a bunch of third parties like T Trades and all these other guys that are you know pretty good at explaining explaining it to you, but you're not getting the full picture if you're just watching third parties if you're not actually watching Michael Inner Circle Trader. Okay, I'm gonna show you something. This is two notebooks full of nothing but Inner Circle Trader right here. Y'all see that? Two. This shit doesn't come through watching T trades, okay? Just doesn't. Doesn't come. Your real understanding doesn't come from watching Tyler trades and T trades. Sorry, order block simplified. You can kind of simplify it, folks, but shit's mostly pretty hard. I got two notebooks full, and I'm still working on one. Of, so, I mean, I don't know what to tell you, folks. Shit's hard. <laughs> it's math. It's mathematics. That's all it is. It's math. And uh, it's math on a chart. So that's all these financial markets are. It's math on a chart. And if you're just watching T-Trades and uh, order blocks simplified, you're not getting it. You're not getting the big picture. The order block is just uh, a signature. It's just, it's just a PD array. It's just an entry mechanism. It's nothing more than that. 
So that's not a breakaway gap either as we filled it. Need to see a displacement lower. I got short here as we had higher high, lower high, up against what I think is our high of the week. In case I've not, if I've not already made this clear, this is paper trading. Okay, paper trading. I'm looking to get three contracts on, simulate my top step account. Okay, it's not real, it's paper. I cannot afford a real brokerage account because I lost a whole bunch of fucking money. You got it? You don't learn unless you have to learn. So a lot of you people that are working good jobs and you got a lot of money and you don't really need to understand this stuff, you're not. You gotta, you gotta need it. You have to need it. I, I have two notebooks full because this is what I want to do with my life. That's why. It's not because of anything else, not out of curiosity. Because I'm determined to get this shit done. All right. So if you go watch T Trades, he's a good guy. Good, good videos. But you're gonna miss the big picture if you're not watching Michael. You will. Like for example, I just told you that common gap right there because it got redelivered and rebalanced. It's not breaking lower yet. In fact, my short is probably premature. To be honest with you, it's almost certainly premature. But we are, you know, we came up to one standard deviation of our measuring gap here, which is a reasonable aim for a lunchtime New York lunch. How long is New York lunch? Do you think it's 60 minutes? It's not. It's 90. What do you expect doing during New York lunch? Re stop hunt, basically. Stop hunt. Liquidity hunt. That's it. And... If you're not watching Michael, you can't use all these concepts like me at once. You can't. If you don't go watch him. You can watch me do it. You're not going to learn it unless you go watch him. All right? You're probably thinking I'm sounding egotistical. Yes. I'm confident that I have a better understanding of what Michael's taught than most people. Okay? All of his concepts can be used. They all play off each other. They're all there all the time. You'll get favorites. I like the standard deviation projections. I like gap theory a lot. You should go watch that video, Advanced Gap Theory. It's good stuff. It's good shit. All right? Go watch Advanced Gap Theory. It's a good video. What is this YouTube channel? Um, it's my attempt to get into professional day trading through Top Step Trader funding at this point. Don't have enough money to trade Apex again. Don't really want to. I'm automatically on step two on Top Step, so there's that. I have been funded before. I fucking blew it like an idiot. Um, yeah, so there's really not a great sign for lower. There's a kind of decent sign. Okay, what are the signs that we're probably coming lower? Well, if this was our measuring gap here that we have not redelivered back into in this swing, one standard deviation from the low here using the measuring gap, that's right about where price went. So one standard deviation would be a good place for price to reject and come back lower but I can't make another standard devi a standard deviation projection lower until we get a breakaway gap we don't have it we don't have it PM session just opened 
I got short one because we had high, lower high at one standard deviation. A couple good signs there that we're probably coming back down. Okay, balance price range here can invert, act as resistance as well. Balance price range. But until we get a displacement lower with a, a gap that does not get traded back into, we're not there. Now, Friday would be a pretty odd day for, for the NASDAQ, the NQ, to want to just literally close right on its high. It is possible, though. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. That's two standard deviations. This, this one I'm going to close out if we go much higher. Yeah, so we just got... If this doesn't get filled right here, we're going higher. That right there. If that stays open, we're going higher. If a gap remains open, it is a breakaway gap or it's a measuring gap for the most part. It needs to make sense in the context. right? Breakaway gaps should be at the start of a swing. Measuring gaps should be in the middle of a swing. You kind of need to know what you're looking for there. Common gaps can remain partially open as well. But common gaps can come anywhere. And they mostly get re-delivered and rebalanced. This is the, sto the start. See, if you don't watch Michael, you don't know this, but lunch actually doesn't end until 1330 right there now we're in the New York PM session now we're in the New York PM session and we have two and a half hours left of trading I will be with you I will be paper trading this you want to watch me train like comment subscribe you people don't like to click the like button a lot or subscribe click it you're not getting better shit than this you're not click it Go watch T trades, I guess. He's okay. Okay, that gap remained. That gap was uh, closed. Immediate rebalance. So, with that being said, stop loss, that's internal. We'll put stop loss right there. Stop loss will go there. Because if for whatever reason the NASDAQ is not coming back today at all, not even 20%, second standard deviation is up here. Okay? That gap remains open. I think we're coming up to sa to second green box. Crazy, but yeah. Okay, second green box is in. This is out. That's a loss, 15 points. Let me remove the executions. That gap remains open right there. Watching it, then we're probably going up to second standard deviation that would be green box should have waited for a displacement lower there this is all efficient no gap should have waited on that price could turtle soup here as well so it could come up above this into these highs up here go lower we're probably at least seeing 
62 quarters, probably. So now I'm waiting. Now I'm in waiting mode. I want to see if price curls back, redelivers that. Yellow, uh, pink box. If we come back into pink box, still a good chance we come lower. If we leave pink box open, I think we're going up. Nope. Okay, we covered pink box. Or remove it. All right. We didn't. Let, we did not leave that open. So I'm gonna wait. I'm waiting now. I'm in. I'm in wait mode. I'm waiting. It's not creating any displacement. We're waiting now. If we do have a breakaway gap, it would be on a sub one minute time frame. Check out our two minute chart, everything's efficient. Same thing with the three minute chart, four minute chart. Oh, there's a gap there in the four minute chart. Okay, four minute chart. Right. Price is too efficient for me to be interested. You can see these measuring gaps on the way down. Measuring gap was also on our way up. Alright, we are at this point. I am I am thinking we're probably going up to green box. Probably. Oh, I don't know. Oh oh. Where did it Price is too efficient for me to read. I need some displacement. I need something. Something to give me something. Best I can tell you, could be a turtle soup right there. Just came up into some uh, liquidity. That could initiate a move lower. minute chart. Let's get some boxes going. Might be a breakaway gap there to go higher. I want to see if purple box is left unscathed. Four minute chart, you can see it. Inverted liquidity void. We're disturbing pink box. Disturbing it. Okay, we, we filled that. All right. Displacement lower. Let's see here. Okay. Getting displacement. 
Let's see if it comes all the way back. Any other concepts we can use here? Not really. If it leaves part of this open, that's probably a breakaway. So the low there is 354 spot 50. If it leaves part of that open, you're probably going lower. Came up into liquidity, rejected it. Displacement lower. I think probably short low here 354 spot 50 Today is Friday, so our thank God it's Friday uh, model is in play. Good sign there, it's probably leaving part of that open. We're going we're going short. No. Alright, we're short one. We are short one. That's probably a breakaway gap right there. Measuring gap would come next. Looks like we did. Uh, Going to pull this. Came up one standard deviation. Failed to get trade above, much above one standard deviation. Probably coming back down. Okay, do not want to see it trade to 354 halves. Don't want to see that. Want to see it now just come lower. First contract came on at uh, 348 evens. Want to see part of this gap remain open. Ideal scenario. Stop loss, going above that high that we just made as we just uh, swept into some short-term liquidity. Uh, don't want to see it get up to 354 halves. Want to see that remain open. Okay. First idea that this was going lower is our measuring gap standard deviation projection. At that point, uh, you know, we had a balanced price range here that kind of inverted for a bit. Second idea that we were going lower, turtle soup pattern. Third idea now that we're going lower is breakaway gap. Okay, we're on a one minute chart. Okay. We're on a one minute chart. We do not want to see the price of 354 halves. We want to see 354 halves remain open. 
That's what ideal scenario would be. All right, displacement lower. It's good. High, low, higher, high. This is a breaker block in which we are operating. The midpoint of that is, is uh, kind of difficult to see. It's right there. We are in a breaker block. Breaker block is going to be high, low, higher, high. That's breaker block. We are currently trading in the breaker block. Uh, don't really see a reason to put on contract number two right now. I am pretty confident this is coming back lower. But uh, not super confident. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Not a good sign. Want to see that gap remain open? That's ideal. Doesn't mean the trade is invalid if it closes. I'd like to see it stay open. Still open? No, we're closed. Shop is closed. Okay. That was not what we wanted to see. That's why we didn't put on second contract. That gap got filled. Curled back up, filled it, redelivered it. Wanted to see that remain open. Need another displacement lower. I want to see a gap that remains open. That was not it. I'm short one. Not willing to put on the second contract. Yeah. Try and work my way up to three contracts short. But uh, not here. Here's not a good spot. Too risky. Yeah, that's why I didn't add on the second contract here. Wanted to see that gap remain open. Did not.
Did not. So, here we are. Three minute NASDAQ, regular trading hours. Uh, second, I guess this is back in play. Okay. Does look like the standard deviation projection higher is in play. This could also just be time distortion. I don't know. But I need to see a displacement lower. I need to see a gap that opens that does not fill in order to feel confident. Right now we're sitting at just about one 1.25 standard deviations from this swing low. Two standard deviations would be up at uh, 388. Friday would be, you know, an odd day for it to do that without any retracement. I think. Friday it should not want to just close on the absolute high. Friday shouldn't be the day to do that. Yeah, no displacement. Just waiting. Just waiting now to see something. Did get a lower high there. Lower high is good. Okay. Did just have a gap open up. Right there. Would like to see that remain open. Okay. Fourth attempt. Like to see purple box remain open. No. Well, one tick. There, one tick. One tick open. Can we do it? One tick open would be good. One tick open. Could be a good sign. Tried it many times now. Now that pink box there I want to stay open one tick no tick okay close it again so nothing nothing I make coffee now All right, I'm back. I'm making coffee. We got no displacement here. We got nothing, not even a one tick gap open. Nothing. The fisherman has nada. All I can tell you is we got a lower high. 
That's the very nascent sign of a down price swing is a lower high. Stronger sign, need a displacement. Okay. Signals to me that we are going lower. One, it is Friday. So Friday should want to end around here. 20 to 25% retracement of the weekly range. Signal number two that tells me this is coming down. Measuring gap here, standard deviation projection higher. You can see that it's having difficulty trying to trade above one standard deviation. Got to about one and a quarter standard deviations. Okay. Third, I think we put in our weekly high. That high should be protected. Fourth, turtle suit pattern. All of that being said, two standard deviations of this swing to this measuring gap is up here. So we are making some equal highs here, kind of equal, building up some liquidity to the buy side. Could come up right here, could come take out the high. That would be liquidity reasons for it to go higher, would be the buy side liquidity. However, I think the factors taking us lower are predominant. Placement? Nope. Nope. Not a zilch. Zilch. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. This is kind of like Bitcoin trading, just efficient all the time. Like, comment, subscribe. Do it, bitch. I hunt you down. Um, at the All right. We're sitting, we're waiting. Displacement higher. Okay. See if that gets filled. All right, had this. Let's see if it wants to come back, fill pink box. If it leaves it open, we're going higher. That high comes in at 352 spot 25. Leaves that open, we're going higher. that part open. Uh, I'm going to say no. Probably closing that. Probably shutting the door on that one.
Yeah, shut the door. Delete it. Lower high. Open door, please. No, one tick open. One tick is open. One tick is open. One tick is open. That's all I can tell you. There's a tick open there. Tick is open. The door is open by one tick. That's a one tick open door right there. Oh, there's a displacement. Okay, can we leave said tick open? Nope. The door is shut. Very efficiently trading. Not giving me anything. Lower high. Only thing I can tell you. Lower high. See who wants to breach that high it just made? Nope. Paired it. Paired it. Okay, new high. New one minute high. Check out our four minute chart. Looks exactly the same. Three minute chart looks exactly the same. Two minute chart looks exactly the same. One minute chart that looks exactly the same. You know, AM session was a big mover, so PM session probably will not. You know, if we're not going to come back 20% of the weekly range, maybe back to this measuring gap, 320. We got two hours for it to do that, maybe. All right, we have high, lower high, higher high, lower highs. We have a low to a high, got a high low, higher high, have not broken below it. It's not really a breaker block yet. We have a barcode. Yeah, we got a barcode, folks. We got a barcode. We got no displacement at all. Not one tick of displacement. Now, We've been through this discussion before. I know we've had this. I've had this with you. You probably still think that that's humans doing that. And it's not. It's algorithms. It's all automated. Automated. It's automated trading. Humans don't do that. That barcode pattern, that's not human. Not human at all. It's just trading algorithms. Playing the bid ass spread right now. I'm waiting for a displacement. I'm waiting for a displacement either side. Either way at this point, I'm waiting for it. I think lower. I lean lower. But I'm waiting on it. Check out the S&P 500. Uh, 
That could be a little breakaway gap there to go higher. Right there. That didn't get quite filled, huh? Let's see if we get a measuring gap. Go with standard deviation projection higher. As that. Okay, at this point, they're probably coming up to green box. All right, I, I'm gonna let my stop loss, instead of being undisciplined, I've got one contract on, just gonna leave it. Go check out, everything's green on the day. Dollar index has been pretty beat up. Right back down to new week opening gap. Okay. Five minute chart, pure barcode. Go to our hourly chart. Okay, back to the one minute, waiting for a displacement. I want to see a gap remain open. I'm here. I'm with you in spirit. Why do I not live stream? You're going to ask me a bunch of fucking questions I don't want to answer. And you're not paying me to answer. Do I trade Bitcoin? No. What is the fair value gap? Look it up. I'm giving you everything here. You actually want to learn from me. Here it is. This is eta drusia. Here gibt es. I want to tell you. It's a real market, real live data feed. It's happening. It's moving. It's barcoding. You're interested in learning ICT concepts. Here it is. Okay. What concepts are we working with right now? Measuring gaps, standard deviation projections, higher time frame inefficiencies. Thank God it's Friday. Opening gap down here. That's also there. Market structure. High, higher high. Lower high. Market structure. It's all here. It's there. Gotta look for it, but it's there. We've been talking a lot today about gap theory. I love gap theory. You can see that price has had a difficult time getting above this BPR. BPR right there. Price had a very difficult time getting above that. Getting above about the one standard deviation, one and a quarter standard deviation, very difficult time getting above that. Earlier we had a perfect two standard deviation projection move. Right now we're sitting at about one. Not so perfect, but very close. Very close with the closes, probably with the wicks, one and a quarter standard deviation. So if you went short right here at the standard one standard deviation, 355, 75, you'd be very close. You'd be almost there. You'd be within a few points. Yep. You'd be close. Uh, I don't know. I need to see displacement. And we got nothing. I got nothing to work with other than a little bit of market structure. That's it. A little bit of market structure, turtle soup. That's it. That's all I got. What is turtle soup? It's a fake breakout. Well, displacement. Nope. Oh. Oh, 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 Drusia, Drusia. It is. That's looking good. That's looking good. That's looking very good. That's it. There it is. That's breakaway gap right there. I think that's gonna be it. Pink box. Okay. 
pink box. We're starting to move lower if we don't fill pink box. There it is. Been waiting for it. We're a fisherman. We're an angler. Waiting for that. Waiting for that displacement. Waiting for the fish. That's the start of our swing lower right there. And there it is. Okay. Uh, entry. That's a breakaway gap. It's probably not getting there. So, that being said, how about 50% of it? Okay. Contract number two is going on. We'll work our way up to three contracts. Profit target. It's going to be here. 20%. There it is, that gap should remain open. It should not trade back up to pink box. That was it. Waited for it, took a while. But we got it. Didn't wanna give it to you very quickly. Okay. Reasonably, it could come all the way back up to 1348.75. Uh, I do not want to see it come in and fill this gap. That should be a breakaway gap. It should be. This should initiate our move lower. I've been waiting for it. And I believe that that pink box should be it. That should not be refilled. It could be refilled partially, but it should not fully refill that. So that should be initiating our move. I did 50% executions. Took a loss. I then took one short here thinking that might be the breakaway. Didn't get it, but uh, didn't get stopped out on it. Second one came in halfway midway point of this black candle here. Assuming that pink box should remain open. Going to wait for another PD array. Get in contract number three. See if we get another PD array on the way down. I'm waiting for a measuring gap. Measuring gap should be on the way. That should tell us how far price wants to go down. We'll project it two times down. I do not want to see pink box get, get fully refilled. Could see it partially refill. Really would prefer not to see that pink box get refilled. Because that would be a breakaway gap. Initiate our swing low. The further that the measuring gap comes in, the better. Because that would mean that the standard deviations would take us lower. So, the next gap that we're looking for would be the measuring gap. A breakaway gap here, looking for a measuring gap. The, we will then apply standard deviations that take us lower. Market tells you what it wants to do, but you have to listen. I don't always listen myself. But it does it does signal you when it wants to do something? Want to see pink box remain open? It could partially refill into it. I don't want to see a full refill. That would be sad. I was very confident that would be it. No. It is not. 
All right, we missed it. Uh, that was not it. That was not it. I really thought it was it. Nope. Nope. That was not it. Now we might be even looking back up higher at uh, green box. That's why I'm only adding on one contract at a time. I was pretty confident that was going to be it. I really thought that was going to be it. I really did. It was not it. Okay, lower high would be good. That would be a lower high if we put that in. It might be where third contract comes on if we get another lower high. Be one, two, three lower highs. Higher than this, lower than this one. That might be where third contract comes on. I really thought that was it. It was not. Waiting again. Ugh. For whatever reason, the algorithm thinks that about 13353 is a fair price right now. So, that's what it thinks. Lower high? Lower highs would be good. We got equal lows now formed with a lower high. That should be decent market structure for lower. I think. Do you think that was our high of the week over here? The AM session. I think. Pretty good chance. Sir, user, user. Balance price range here, not quite. Sibby, sibby, bissy. Oh, oh. No. Vielleicht hier gibt es. Ja, sieht gut aus. Da, vielleicht. Ah. Wenn es offen bleibt wollen. Nein. Ein Nieder, Niederpunkt. 342. Oh, offen. Da gibt es äh, drei Ticke. Offen. Da. Nach oben. Vielleicht. Kann ich jetzt sehen. Wir haben einen Niederhochpunkt. Hochpunkt da. Vielleicht, da war, das war es. Kann ich, kann ich jetzt sehen. Oh. Oh. It's tickling me. It's tickled. 
Können wir da offen bleiben? Das kann man nicht sagen. Bis zum Jetzt. Bin ich sicher. Okay, okay, offen bleiben. Bei drei Ticke. Ticken. Oh, ist ein gut. Ein gutes Zeichen. Da. Würde ich sagen. Oh. Unser drittes Kontrakt kann bald äh, eingehen. Ein dritten. Oh. Willis. Oh. Oh. Offen mit drei. Drei Versuchen, um wieder zu kehren. Würde ich sagen, das ist leicht. Okay. Ähm, wir sind in der Nähe, bleibe ich. Glaube ich. Wir sind in der Nähe. Vor, vor einer Bewährung. Moi. Pobijai. Blijai. Moje skoro padaju, pa moje mu, pa niže, skoro, ja ni da bi vljaju, tretjeva kontrakta, da ta bova, kak ja, kak ja što te vižu, i šas, ničevo ni vižu, Кроме того, что у нас как это падает медленно. Нижние высоты здесь. Раз, два, три. У нас есть балансированный диапазон здесь. Okay, um, third contract is coming on soon. That might be our breakaway gap right there. Want to see pink box stay open. Would love to see the pink box remain often. Adkrita. Pink box. Open. Want to see it. Pink box. Open. One good move in the PM session, maybe. Big swing came in the AM session, so PM session would be expected to be pretty slow. Also on a Friday, coming into a holiday weekend, but we might get one more, you know, decent move, decent move. Yeah, but Skazel, Drusia, Mozibuit, Yanisna, Vielleicht. Vielleicht. Ah, yeah, don't come back up to Pink Fox. Leave that. Leave that bitch open. Don't do it. Just leave it open. Yeah? Uh, it's torturing me. It's torturing me right now. It's torture. Leave, leave that damn pink box open, you son of a bitch. Leave it open. Don't come back. I got three ticks right there of hope. That's three ticks of hope right there. That's what that is. Three ticks of hope. No, it's not doing it. It's closing it. The door is closing. The tour uh, schließt, schließt. Dvier Zakritza. Yeah. Those three ticks, the three ticks of hope. No. Oh, we still have three ticks of hope. We have three ticks of hope here. We do. We do. Absolutely. We got three ticks of hope. Yes, sir, we do. We're alive. Wir leben. Muy jivion. Muy pas jivion. Muy jivion, monsieur. Muy dias. Muy jivion, tata boa, kak. Kak, skora kak. Rinka. Nas. Чего-то 
Ja kažem. Ok, come on, show me something. Leave those three ticks open. Those are three ticks of hope. Um, get below uh, 340 quarters that would be order block I got three ticks of hope don't take it from me it's taking it from me it's 100% taking that hope from me nope we're live we're live we're live we're living we're on CPR we're on life support but we're alive. We need immediate assistance. Ah, we're about to be dead in the water. I don't feel good about it at all. I think our three takes of hope are about to die. Two takes of hope. Right there. Two takes of hope. Nope. Okay. All right. Next spot would be this high right here. Let's see if it puts in a lower high. Or if we make a higher high, that would be unfortunate. Okay. If I see this remain open, I'm probably getting out of the marketplace, taking the loss. Uh, cause this this pretty much looks like uh, a launching launching pad. Friday would not be the right day to do that, but it can happen. So that that would be a launching pad right there. If it remains open to the buy side, to the long side, you got to see both sides of the marketplace. Man muss beide Zeiten der, I don't know how to say market in German. I realize this. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's open. That's open, yeah, we're going higher, I think. Sweep the highs, go up to two standard deviations. I'm pulling it, I'm pulling it, I'm pulling it. We're out, we're out, we're out. We're out. We're out. One contract long. Stop loss there. Take profit is going to go. That's two standard deviations. Let's do shy of that. Right there. Okay. Probably making a new high. Probably sweeping everything. Just taking it all. Taking people's souls. That's a breakaway gap right there. To the long side markets going up paper trading account uh, we took six hundred sixty dollars of loss okay that's a breakaway gap should be next gap is going to be a measuring gap from this low to the measuring gap or from this low from our measuring gap that we had earlier it would take us up to 389 evens. My take profit would be just shy of that. So, at this point, I think we are demolishing 376 three quarters. That is a very strong sign right there with a breakaway gap that we are going to sweep all these highs. Okay? You're wondering, does your opinion have to change that fast? Yep. Thus, thus. Really looked like we were going to stick with one standard deviation here. Looks like we're going up to two. And although this is Friday, it does not look like the Thank God It's Friday model is in play right now. Uh, very much looks like we're, we're just going to end the whole week on the absolute high. Okay. So I think we're making a new high, taking out uh, AM Sessions high. I think this is a breakaway gap right there. So, no gap there. 
it comes back down to pink box, it's not a breakaway gap. If it leaves pink box open, that is a breakaway gap. It is going to leave that pink box open. Maybe not. Pink box would be breakaway gap if it's left open. I'll trade one tick into it. Closes it, we're just going nowhere. Closed it. All right. Well, we got one take open. We got one take open there. Not a box anymore. It's just uh, yeah. That can be a breakaway gap. Let's see. Our our high there was three forty eight quarters. Low there is three. We got one take open. We got no ticks open. Okay, I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. Low is 348.50. I'm not seeing it. I'm, I'm very lost. I'm very, very lost. There was our... Pr oh, my God. I reversed too quick. This, yeah. The, oh, ugh. Disgusting. Disgusting. Glad I didn't do this on my actual top step account. This is bad trading. Wow, okay. Uh, no bueno. Yeah, no bueno. No bueno trading. Muy mal. Ni har shua. Ocean ploha. Ya pros the ocean rat. Rata mushtua. Eta ni real na eta ni moi account. Mo tap step account. Rata mushtua eta. Oh, that was, oh god, yeah, that was bad. That was bad, shouldn't have done that. That was bad trading. Gotta let the market develop. If you miss the move higher, you just miss it. Just wait. Could have even waited for a short at standard deviation. You don't immediately reverse. That was bad. That was bad trading. Very, very bad trading. Ocean Plocha. Trading. Ocean. I'm flattening. If I get this back up to break even, I'm flattening. Because that's bad trading. That's really bad trading, what I just did. That's like terrible. It's disgusting. It's really horrid. Really horrid. I'm flattening if I get to break even. Not because I'm not seeing the market right now. I'm not seeing it. I'm missing it. Not there. Lost. I'm a lost child next to a white van with candy. Yeah. Market gets super dense like this, I get lost. Uh, so obviously, this high was, was not protected. Potentially, we're looking at two protected highs up here. Okay. Uh, let's see, we're down, we're down 660 prefer to see okay come up close this continue bullshitting for the next hour and a half that could be our breakaway gap though I it could really this could get worse to the downside this is just bad trading really bad really bad I don't really want to upload y'all seeing me at my worst but it is paper trading I'd like to show you only wins when I'm not fucking around like this but it is what it is. I thought pink box there to the upside would remain open. We didn't close, okay? 
we didn't close in it. But a breakaway gap, ideally, it should not re-deliver it at all. So, like breakaway gap, right there, I would say. There's your breakaway gap right there. You see, it doesn't even re-deliver it. That would be ideal. Right here, breakaway gap. See, it doesn't re-deliver it. Right here, breakaway gap doesn't re-deliver it. Here, I'm using the regular trading hours gap as the breakaway gap. That is the measuring gap. Those two as our standard deviation projection. On our lunch swing higher, it was right there. That was a breakaway gap. See, it doesn't attempt to, but see. That was your New York lunch upswing. Breakaway gap right there. Measuring gap right there. Standard deviation projections higher. Price has been sitting at one. Okay, okay. This is coming away. We're sitting at an $825 loss. So I start with one contract, okay? Because sometimes I fuck up like this. That was bad trading. Even if it is gonna go up $500, if you are not feeling the market, fuck it, miss it. It's fine, it'll do it again when you're more clear. Okay, pink box. Part of it has not been redelivered. That could be a breakaway gap right there. See, there's this little final push up into liquidity that I missed. Okay, he's redelivering that SIBI right there. Okay, redelivering that earlier breakaway gap, redelivering that, and pushing up into liquidity before now the move down. Okay, does that make sense? Very difficult price action. Well, it's probably coming down now. And I tried to reverse and got fucked because that was bad trading. I'm glad this is paper. Okay, basically, if pink box here remains open, that would be the initiation of our swing move lower for the last hour and a half of trading if pink box remains open. We're probably getting one more swing for the day. One more decent sized swing. 50 point move probably. That's probably what we're looking at. What you just witnessed, do not do that. Do not do that at all. I would have been stopped out. It was a suboptimal stop loss, absolutely. Okay. Stop loss should be up here. This high is protected. This high is also protected. That's why you first enter in on one contract. You enter in on one because one is enough. If you're immediately correct and it just plunges, one is enough. But, you know, as you see more PD raise, more entries, you add on the contracts. So you can see I have no confidence in my ability to read price right now. Best I can tell you, this is a BPR, balance price range probably looking at a break breakaway gap right there it's probably coming up to 50 percent i'm gonna do one tick shy of that 157 right there Let's see if we get that that's going to be one contract right there first contract of three that's what we're looking at right there 57 evens if we can get that that's one tick shy of the midpoint of this half of this remaining open would be just fine just don't want to see it fully re-delivered for a move down. Okay. We're going in one contract short. All right, we're filled. We basically want to see that right there be the high. That's ideal. If that is the high, oh no, we're just going to immediately re-deliver it. Just going to bullshit for the remainder of the day. If that remains open, we're looking at starting our swing down. Oh, terrible. Really bad. Really, really bad. Really bad. Ultra Ploha. Я бы сказал, друзья, очень плохо. Если честно говоря, 
Честно говоря, друзья, очень плохо. Okay. We're short one. First contract on our swing down. If we get it. 357 quarters. Contract one of three. We are paper trading. Price came up to about about one and a quarter. One one and a third standard deviations of our swing. Okay. Uh, we are initiating the swing. Next gap that we're looking for is a measuring gap. I'm going to delete the second standard deviation projection. You can see that price struggled to make it above one. It did, but it struggled. The next gap we're looking for is this thing. It's a measuring. That's what we're looking for next in price action. Yeah, the shit that you just saw me do, don't do that. Don't do that. You do need to see both sides of the marketplace, but if you fucked up the first time, stop out, wait until you see it again. Just wait. Because you might, what I did there was just suboptimal stop placement. The optimal stop was at this protected high or at this protected high. Okay? My stop loss here was suboptimal. Obviously, that got hunted. So it needed to be higher. Because this was hunted. That was protected. That was protected. This was hunted. Okay, contract number two is probably going on soon. I traded below the open of that. That is now a bearish order block. Therefore, contract number two is coming on momentarily. Get a couple, like, tick higher. There, contract number two is going on. Okay, contract number two is on. Waiting for a measuring gap to give, give us a standard deviation projection lower. Terrible. Really bad. Очень плохо. Sehr schlecht. Muy mal. Okay. We've initiated the swing down. Waiting for a measuring gap. Waiting for another gap that does not get filled to tell me how many standard deviations it wants to go down. Last hour of trading. My reasonable guess here would be 319.75. I think that's what we're looking at without seeing a measuring gap. Two contracts are on. Ignore the bad bullshit you saw earlier. First contract came at the 50% of this BPR breakaway gap. Should be a breakaway gap. Second contract came on at this order block, midpoint of that. High of that candle was 54 evens. We got in at 53 evens. High of this candle was 57 three quarters. We got in at 57 quarters. So, good entries there. Not pleased with what I did prior to that at all. The next PD array that we are looking for in the marketplace is a measuring gap. Why the measuring gap? It's going to tell me how far price wants to go down.
Yeah, I got a little bit of alcohol because I need it after the bullshit I just did there. Good God, that was terrible. Fucking terrible. Real bad. Not what I should be doing. All right, that might be your measuring gap right there. That doesn't get filled. Waiting on that. We've been waiting on that. So let's see. That remains open. I'm never going to get there to be a professional day trader if I do shit like I just did. Never. Mm -mm. Not going to get there. Okay, measuring gap is in. Third contract's going on. Let's get our standard deviation projection. Green box. Let's do blue box. Yeah, I'm never being a professional day trader if I do what I just did. Mm -mm. Not happening. Let's clone that. That's two. Let's aim for one and a half. Let's aim two contracts at one and a half standard uh, projections, and let's aim one at the full two. Let's see how that works. Okay, short three. Uh, maybe that wasn't the measuring gap. If price covers up the pink box I just drew, it's not the measuring gap. Covers it up by one tick, two ticks, three ticks, four ticks. Left part of it open. Got two ticks open, got one tick open. You got one tick open. Got one tick open there? We got zero ticks open. That was not the measuring gap. Okay, we're still short three. All right, that wasn't it. Um, that being said, I'm not pulling this position. Um, the high that we just made there, that should be protected. I will tell you that that should 100% not be filled. Right there, that, that, should, that should be safe. This is probably safe that I, I'm pretty sure that's protected. So that pink box goes away and our standard deviation projections are weighed on them. We got one hour left of trading for it to do something. It's, I guess it's probably not. All right, that was not the measuring gap that we were looking for. Um, just wasn't. I want to see it go back up to pink box. I want to see pink box remain open. Got an hour left of trading. NASDAQ should have one move in it. It's fucking around right now. It's on Friday. We got one hour left of trading. We got power hour coming. Coming back up to one standard deviation of our prior uh, swing higher. Coming back up to that. It's coming right back up to pink box. I'm not seeing it. I am not seeing the marketplace accurately. Hmm. All right. 
Looks like it's going to go through pink box. I believe that my stop is protected. I think that stop should not be filled. Mm, real bad. No bueno. Glad this one is paper trading. I really do. I'm really glad about that. Because I wasn't seeing it. I was not seeing it. Mm. See if it wants to re-deliver pink box. Real shame, but I think it probably does. My stop should be protected, so whatever the marketplace decides to do, I don't think that this loss should be too bad. My stop should be protected. That high should be protected at this point. We've we'll got an hour left of trading. I don't see any particular reason why it would pop up another 17 points to my stop, but it could. And I believe that high is now protected. I do think the high of the week was put in in the AM session. That high should be protected. I think. I don't know. But I think. I really thought we were going to get one good swing lower here. I immediately came back. I had no intention of swinging lower. Lower high is in the market. Lower high has been printed. One minute time frame. Two lower highs, actually. But that push into liquidity, two lower highs. All right. Could be another breakaway gap there, or measuring gap. If that remains open, needs to remain open for that to be the case see if it just immediately closes it ay 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 I don't know how Michael does it how do you see this what am I missing hmm. I was on it in the, a in the AM Got a good trade there on my top step. I don't know how you see this. This is oof. the inefficiencies are small, the swings are small. PM session coming in on a Friday doesn't want to move at all. Ah, uh, Ploka. I really do not like how I traded this. I'm really displeased. Very displeased. Um, still sitting up at one standard deviation of our prior lunch swing higher. This thing might have one final push in it. Two hours of futures trading left. One hour of cash session. Coming into a holiday weekend. Expect extremely low volatility on the holidays. I will be trading, obviously. But uh, expecting very small volatility. Um, okay. Do we have a gap here that... that Okay. Here, get this. We're moving this. Okay, I get this. Could be another breakaway gap there. Could be a measuring gap. Not sure. It is open though. It shouldn't really be a measuring gap. It should be another breakaway gap there. That remains open. Could be this start of a good swing lower. I'm not, well, I am paper trading, but I'm going to leave it at three. I want to see if my targets are accurate. All right, starting to displace. Let's take this. Let's project it from here to here. Let's get that lower. Let's make that purple box. Okay. Uh, clone that. 
get that going. That would be two of that. Let's see if it wants to give me this for the third one. First two, move that to one and a half. Let's see if we can get that filled. That should be measuring gap right there. Um, two standard deviations from there would be here. So let's be a little bit more conservative with it. Let's go with that right there. There it is. Let's see how that plays out. I want to see blue box remain open. No. Maybe. Potentially. Blue box. I want to see that remain open. I want to see both pink boxes remain open. I want to see blue box remain open. Blue box should be a measuring gap. Should be showing you the halfway point. Standard deviations coming lower. Nope, doesn't want to leave it open, huh? Maybe wick into it. Can wick into it. We don't get a body close in there. That could still be a measuring gap. We don't get a body close in it. Okay. Got one tick open. Let's see if we if we get a body close in it. We'd prefer not to see a body close in it. Uh what's your plot? Sehr schlecht. Ich will, dass es offen bleibt. Um, okay, we got wicks. Got a body candle. Wanna see where that candle closes? Would like to see it close below blue box. Nope. I want to see pink box remain open. Okay. Didn't want to give me a measuring gap there either. Hmm. Yeah. Redeliver and rebalance that. Blue box is going away. Goodbye, blue box. I want to see both pink boxes remain open. Mm. Coming up to first pink box. I want to see first pink box remain open? No. Nine. It feels nicht. No, señor. No quiere. Oh. Оставляется открыто. Может быть. Может быть. Оставляется открыто. Вот это. Вот это да. Может быть. Want to see that pink box remain open? Don't want to see it go back up to pink box. Uh, I thought we had some measuring gaps earlier. They weren't. Maybe we get another one. I'm going to leave my stop uh, limit orders in the marketplace as I, I do think those are pretty reasonable take limits. We're in the last hour of trading. Coming up on a holiday weekend. Very glad this was not my top step account. AM session was where I needed to be. And that's where I was. By complete happenstance. Because I was not seen at this PM session at all. It was bad. Glad I was on the paper trading. Hit the profit limit on top step earlier. After blowing out multiple attempts. Did get there eventually. Market was a lot easier last week. Week before that was easy too. Decreased volatility. Gaps are not remaining open. All the inefficiencies filled. Signals few and far between. Displacements come instantly. Almost no attempt to get in. 
Very slippy, slidey, a liquid. Uh, maybe not the next, you know, maybe not next week, but the week after that, we might get an increase in volatility, get some inefficiencies that are nice and clear, large, big, that stay open, make it nice and easy f for you to make your standard deviation projections. Not like this. We're probably getting one push lower. More likely than not, we are going to get a push lower. I know Michael says that you know he can make all of his money in conditions like this. I find this very difficult. I really do. I'm not lying to you either. The algorithm does not want to take us anywhere too fast. Not right now. It could, if it chose to. But choosing not to. The algorithm does not want to cooperate. The price engine is not cooperating. You know, we're probably getting one a liquid push lower. It's going to happen fast. It's going to it's going to be like, "Oh shit." It's because of illiquidity. That's probably what we're getting. And a liquid push. Only way you're probably going to catch that is going to be the limit orders. Not going to be smooth and grindy. It's going to be just an Ill illiquid push down. Might come at the close. Might come in the. It might come in an hour. Hard to say. An illiquid push is just like a slide. It just slides up there like, oh shit. But it's not a good grind. Illiquid push is just slip and slide. Many of you still think that volume means a shit. It doesn't. At all. Nope, it does not. It's not volume that moves the markets. It's it's algorithms. It's a pricing engine. Working off of mathematics. Standard deviations. Price objectives, inefficiencies, liquidity. That's all it is. Just numbers. It's nothing more than that. Nothing to do with the fundamentals at all. You still think the news matters. It doesn't. It's just numbers. At all times, the only reason why price tends to behave in line with how you think it should is, number one, your confirmation bias, but number two, the pricing engine, uh, it, it's not going to you know, coming into a holiday weekend, very end of the day on Friday, we had a big move up on the AM session. The pricing engine doesn't want to scare everyone to death and move us down 200 points at the very end of Friday. That would scare investors. Okay? It could. The pricing engine could just do whatever the fuck it wants. It's choosing not to for all of the smokescreen reasons. Make the public think that this is real. It's not. It, this thing could just reprice 200 points down right now if it wanted to. No problem. It's just the order flow. It doesn't matter at all. It's not real, folks. It's all controlled. It's not, it's not real. It's working on a time schedule. Okay. Come along. Probably getting one standard deviation is all we're getting. Probably doesn't want to give us two. Let's see if that. Let's do blue box. Eh. Blue box. Let's say that our swing high was there to top of that. Scrunch that down. Let's go one standard deviation. And yeah, it all kind of lines up with what I'm thinking. Be one standard deviation lower. Uh, 
That doesn't want to remain open either. Close that out immediately, huh? Just close the door on me. Yeah. Okay, it's going to close the door on me. Well, leave a tick open. Maybe. Okay. Standard deviation. Two standard deviations is down here. Last hour of trading, does that happen? Probably not. That's your two standard deviations lower. Oh, no. Doesn't want to leave that open. Let's see if it leaves the one above it open. Nope. Nope. Zilch. Not a. Okay. Still waiting. Got a displacement higher. Doesn't want to leave anything open for me. Nothing for me to work with at all. Nada. Zilch. Nechova. Nechova tam. Da gibt's nichts. It's alles vorbei. Und ich fühle mich allein. I need to listen to that again. I really do. It's terrible. You know, Top Step's not too bad. It is more expensive than Apex, but I think it's a better quality product overall. <laughs> more expensive, though. For sure. Way more expensive. Oh. We are coming into the market on close uh, algorithm. Could take us lower into stops or higher into stops. The inclination would be that it's taking us lower. And then again, this has been the slowest grind God has given to man. So I want to see pink box remain open. Top pink pink box must remain open, or, or we're sad. We're very sad if top pink pink box. I uh, like to see this first pink box remain open. Top pink pink, pink box really uh, really should remain open. First pink box would be ideal. Second pink box, you know, we're really sad if it gets up to top pink box. Oh. Yeah. Thank God it's Friday model didn't really work out today, huh? There's a good target there for the first part of the day. Did draw down there. But uh, second half of the day, sorry, Michael, didn't work. Did not work. Did not go back down to 20% of our weekly range here, Michael. He's not going to talk about that. I'm sure he would say that this is not a good week for Thank God It's Friday.
Sure, I'm almost positive that is what he would say. Yeah. Did not want to come back down to 20% and close there. That one didn't work out, Michael. Pink box remaining open. That's good thus far. Yeah. Thank God it's Friday. Would have you down here at least at 20%, 272. We're not getting that. No way. No fucking way we're getting 272. Yay, 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 yay. Hi, yay, yay. Watch them pull. I mean, this is tough. Alright, this is tough. 10 minute chart. Don't look much better. Ooh, it's going to take out first pink box. Not good. Low here. Breakaway gap there, maybe. We don't, we don't refill it. Push higher at the end of the day. No bueno. I thought we were getting a standard deviation projection down here. Okay, first pink box is being taken out right now. A second pink box would really be sad. That means this trade is probably a scratch. Maybe it comes back last, last 15 minutes of the day. Let's just get out with a scratch if it comes through top pink box. Probably not. I don't know what I missed, Michael. I'm, I'm using all of it. Tell me. That's 20% right there, weekly range. It is Friday, and it's a big up week now on Friday. Should come back down to 20%. Came back down to 15% intraday. Top pink box is no more. We deliver that. Bottom pink box. Ooh. Didn't want to do it, Michael. Didn't want to go back to that 20%. Top pink box is about to be taken out, too. Very sad. This trade mine is probably going to end up break even on the day. Did not get the swing lower. Uh oh. Oh, oh, sure. Top pink box can be taken out. Yeah, we're now in market on closed macro. It's going to seek liquidity. Right up here or right down here. Probably here. It's going to come to one of these two points. Top pink box is a goner. On life support. I don't think this will stop me out. I think that high should be protected. I think what we're looking at here, top pink box gets taken out. Yeah, half of it. Half of it taken out, two ticks in. Really like that box. All right, we must alter the shape of the box. Like that. Want to see top pink box left open? Be a good sign for lower. Probably won't though. I have absolutely zero confidence in my ability to read this. None whatsoever. This is difficult. Best I can say right now, probably coming back down here. 
Thank God it's Friday. I'm sure Michael would say that this model is not really applicable to this Friday as, you know, we didn't really have a whole series of up weeks. That's really what this model is for. I know that's what he would say. So, not that he can talk to me, won't talk to me, but I think if he could hear me right now, he would know that I did try to use it. It was there. Um, market on closed macro shouldn't take us up to new highs. Realistically, what we're looking at here, come back down here. I yeah, couldn't even get, could get nothing. Could get nothing over there. Mm -mm. Nope. Zilch. You'll think I'm crazy about breakaway gaps. Here's a gap that remained open. Here's a gap that remained open. Measuring gap. This swing didn't really make a measuring gap. There's your gap that remained open, though. Swing up here. Breakaway gap, measuring gap, standard deviation. All right, pink box is demolished. Probably getting a lower high here and just meander lower. So if y'all think I'm insane, breakaway gap, measuring gap, standard deviation. Breakaway gap is an RTH gap, opening gap. You got a price action up to the measuring gap. Measuring gap, two standard deviations higher pretty quickly. So it does happen, just not now. Probably, realistically, what we're looking at right now is right there. 328.75. Gonna take off two contracts there. Probably get one push back into sell side liquidity. I'll leave one contract to see if it wants to come down here. Or see, let's let's see right there. That would be our prior measuring gap. That would be a good place for price to want to come back at the very end of the day. Liquidity prior measuring gap that's still open, partly open. See this swing just took us into some liquidity, back up. I really have difficulty with the PM session. For the most part it's not been my ideal session. I mean when the market's moving and swinging, yeah. Is I need displacement to read this. I mean, you see how there's a gap right there and there's another gap right there. I mean, they're forming so close to each other. It's within 10, 13 NASDAQ points. These two gaps are forming. And so virtually impossible for me to get a good grasp on that. I mean, I'm there. I see it now. But all that little meandering lower did was just deliver us into some very near-term sell side. Didn't want to take us down any standard deviation at all. You probably still think that price can't do that. It can do whatever the fuck it wants, whenever it wants. It's choosing not to. Could drop 300 points right now, just reprice 300 points down. There's nothing you can do about it. It's probably not going to do that. But it can't. There's nothing to do with volume. None of that bullshit. Just, just algorithms. It's just mathematics, my friends. That's it. That's all that is. Complex mathematics. Standard deviations. Inefficiencies. You see... We had a displacement lower there, and if this were 
a market that wanted to give me what I want, that would remain open and we'd go lower. All right, five minutes. You see a lot of nothing. This high is probably the high of the week. This high that I have my stop above is probably protected now. Market on close took us to short-term liquidity. Uh, last push of the day, might we might probably break this low here. Maybe before the cash close, maybe before futures close. I'm on paper trading, trading view. Probably should get one more push here into liquidity. This is a balanced price range right there. You can see price came back to it, rejected it. Balanced price range up, BC up, CB down. Looks like a looks like an inverted V. That's a balanced price range. You can see immense respect from price as it came back up to it. I thought that that was going to be a breakaway gap. We did get a, you know, kind of very high resistance two leg move down from that. Did not want to stay open very long though. Fourth contract. Probably not. I don't see anything. I don't see anything at all. I see nada. I see zilch. I see Zippo. Indestriba. Let's get the niece to the end. Maybe. He was there on the 30 second chart. I can't afford a 30 second chart. Got no money. Can't afford it. We got nothing. I live on nothing. I eat rice. Y'all still think I have time to answer all your questions? If you're not paying me, I really can't afford it. Maybe on the weekend. Put it in the comment section if you got a bunch of questions. What am I looking for? I might go through them on the weekend. None of y'all really ask questions or interact with the video, though. I'm not sure how many of you actually watch me bullshit for hours on end. Probably, like, none. But these videos do seem to, like, get views. So there's got to be some of you that actually enjoy this. I don't know why. But... Some reason. Watching price do nothing. Watch price do a barcode. Do we get another push into buy side liquidity? I'm going to say probably not. Market on close algorithm, macro comes. Uh, uh, 20 minutes of that left and then 15 minutes to the cash close after that and an hour of futures trading after that if you're trading top step trader you got to be out eight minutes i think after the market close so you can hold it just after the market on market actually closes apex you can trade all the way up to resettlement and yes it does move sometimes during that hour you can get a good standard deviation move there I've seen it Especially if it's earnings. So top step kind of limits you. It wants you out at the cash close. I don't know. It does. I think it's automated system should let you go all the way up to futures resettlement. In my opinion. Why top step? Why can't I trade all the way to 4 o'clock? Why? It doesn't matter. It's all automated. It's all simulated. Gives a fuck. Tell me. Futures go another hour. Why can't I hold it another hour? You could automate that system to close positions out an hour after the New York cash close on futures resettlement. There's no, you can't tell me you can't code that. You can. You just chose that for whatever reason you think it's too risky to hold past the cash close. What about earnings? I don't know. Top step doesn't want you in the market after the, the cash close. Apex doesn't care. Apex doesn't really care what you do at all. Top step. Pretty disciplined. Apex just 
You get the fuck in there with 30 contracts, blow yourself out 30 times. That's Apex. Top Step's like, no, no, slow down there, buddy. Why don't we use a scaling plan? Use some risk management. Yeah. Apex is like, here's 35 contracts. Good luck. 35. You notice I have three. <laughs> Apex is 35. Crazy. 90% off sales all the time. They're running one right now. You gotta have real impulse control to trade Apex. Tell you what. They're gonna give you a way more contracts than you need. Fuck, even Top Step will let you get up to 10 and 15. You don't need no 10 and 15 contracts to get, to get there. You really don't. really do not right, my buy stop should be protected if it's not I'm glad this was paper trading Yeah, it's a tough sport when it's not moving. No displacement. I'm on a one minute chart, by the way. Every time we get a displacement, it just gets ironed out. This point, I can see the, the long argument, but I don't know. It's tough. Yeah, I can see the long argument. A balanced price range down there at the bottom. We've got a gap down there that is has not been filled. Measuring gap kind of in the middle of that. Come up, one standard deviation. Turtle soup into those local highs. Come back down, probably. It's difficult for me, looking at this price action, for me to say it wants to go and make new day highs at the very end on Friday. It should not want to do that. It should want to retrace an amount. It has virtually had no retrace all day. It had one good retrace in which I made my fake dollars. You can go watch the last video to via estar saying. Aber dieser Beispiel, diesem Beispiel, mit diesem Beispiel, zum Beispiel. Ah, nein. Uh, yeah. That's the price action I'm trying to work with in the PM session right there. This was the move that I made 3,600 fake dollars on right here. That was a good swing. This is bullshit. All right, we are paper trading the New York PM session. Welcome. I'm your guide in this bullshit price action. I am your tourist guide here. Got a lower high. 
market on close algorithm acted to come up and take us some near term stops. Uh, remainder of the session should be tilted downwards. Um, as you can see, we've had absolutely no displacement that has remained open. No inefficiency has remained open. We do have a uh, inefficiency, so I'll show you this. This has remained open to the long side against me. Okay. So that has remained open. Following price's general trend to close everything today, it should come back and refill this. Um, there would be your measuring gap right there. And a standard deviation from here to here. Let's be conservative, take the bottom of that, would take you there. One standard deviation would take you there. Half standard deviation would take you to where we got. Okay, I can withstand a full standard deviation higher from there. Uh, that would take us up to this rejection block. You're looking at an exactly half standard deviation move for the market on close algorithm. So from this breakaway gap here to this measuring gap, just taking that standard deviation higher, looking at exactly a half standard deviation move higher. Full standard deviation is going to come just next to my stop. I don't think it'll get there. I got nothing to tell me that it will, uh, but that would be a full standard deviation there. An unbelievable two standard deviation would be way the fuck up here, and that's not happening. That's not happening. That would be up there. So this would be a half standard deviation retracement back into some stops. Price should want to come in, refill the yellow box here, come and just seek liquidity at the end of the day. Maybe, you know, very at the very end of the day, come in. I'm putting, taking two contracts off at the nearest low. I'm actually just going to push that at the low. And see if the next one, if we can get this low. Okay, that's a little bit ambitious, but leave it there. Price is not in any sort of mood right now to leave any efficiencies open, so it should come back to pink box. With that in mind, we got a lower high there. Let's go four contracts, and let's take one off here at pink box. Okay. That's the best I can do. Just tell you that price is not in a mood to leave anything open. So I don't think it will allow lower pink box to remain open either. This is paper trading. No? Yeah, so this is what was a half standard deviation for the market on close algorithm. The last 15 minutes of trading should take us back down, maybe to this low. Pink box should be filled in. Really aggressive last 15 minutes would be down here at 319. This move up should end in 10 minutes. Best I can tell you. Price is moving against us. Currently working this balanced price range here, just ironing out this Sibby and Bissy combo. Ironing it, ironing, ironing it out. That's a one half standard deviation move up here on the market on close. One full standard deviation would take us up here. Three contacts, just four contracts here is probably a bit much. Okay, five minute chart. So we could get a 64 evens come in the marketplace. That would be one standard deviation. It's kind of the maximum that I foresee happening, one standard deviation. 
So from this breakaway gap to this measuring gap, show you that again. Right here to right here. Taking that, putting it there, you see it takes us just above that high. So let's see if it respects that. This is paper trading. Okay. That's one standard deviation higher. I'm gonna just risk fuck it, it's paper trading. We'll do five. Contract two contracts will come off here. So that's one standard deviation higher here. Two standard deviations would be through my stop. Here. So I think it should stop with one standard deviation. That would also be a turtle soup. So as you can see, I've been trying to get short here on the paper trading. Short here. Didn't take profit. So now we're short two more. Now we're short five. Okay, high, high there came in at 64 halves. We got short at 62 quarters. Uh, that is one standard deviation from this breakaway gap, this measuring gap, just putting that up there. It's one standard deviation. It takes us to a turtle soup as well. So price should reject right here. It should reject right here. It's a good one standard deviation move for the market on close algorithm. I thought it would stop at a half. Did not. Went up to a full. Okay, that's right there. That's a full standard deviation. So we're at one we're, we're just above one standard deviation. Last 15 minutes of trading should come down. Um, this point, I don't think any of those are happening. I think those are unrealistic. So I think four will come off here. Uh, just you know, trying to be aggressive with one. one could come off here.
Okay. Last 15 minutes of trading, it should come down. Market on close algorithm uh, succeeded. Got the stops. Okay, we're short five. Five is a bit much, admittedly. Market should want to close efficiently. We do have that pink box inefficiency. It should want to close that. We're in the last two minutes here of the market on close algorithm or macro. It should want to close that pink box. End the week efficiently. Okay, there it is. I think we're coming down to pink box. Last 15 minutes of the cash session. Market on close algorithm is coming to an end. Oh, now it's freaking you out, right? Should come down. Flash green there. It's getting illiquid. Orders are being pulled. The market, the book is getting illiquid. As the market gets illiquid, fewer orders are needed to move it. Not that I think orders really matter for anything. But the book is going to get illiquid. Uh, market's going to need to accelerate in order to close efficiently. It will need to accelerate down. That is what it will need to do if it wants to close efficiently. So that pink box should come back to that. And if it wants to hunt liquidity at the very end of the day, it would come to the last order I have. Okay. It's going to get a liquid in the last 15 minutes. You're going to see it flash up and down. All right, it's coming back to the pink box. We are paper trading. This is not real. I'm using advanced gap theory concepts and standard deviation projections. It's a very powerful tool. Using those measuring gaps and a number of different of Michael's models, including the market on close macro. Market on close macro did deliver the stops. So it performed as expected. It was unfortunately against my what I wanted initially. This would obviously be optimal had I, you know, not needed to add on more contracts. Okay, should come down to pink box. Close that out. End the day efficiently at the pink box. And it's actually probably where it, it should settle. Right? Exactly where my buy limit is. That is what it should want. To end the week efficiently. No gaps. Okay. Coming back down. Required SEC and CT CFTC disclosures. Um, I'm a complete hack. Not a financial advisor, not one of those people. It's not financial advice. I'm a complete hack. You shouldn't listen to a word I'm saying. 
Uh, and if you try to trade, you will lose money. Almost guaranteed. Um, okay, coming down. Do not listen to me. I'm not a financial advisor. Don't have an economics degree. Do have a law degree, not an economics one. Don't have my licenses. Cannot advise you on your bond portfolio. Market's going to be a liquid now. Don't listen to me at all. It's paper trading. Okay, market's going to be a liquid now. It's coming down to the pink box. Should want to close that out in the week efficiently. Might even want one more push into liquidity. As this is paper trading, I'm not pulling this in profit. Uh, if this were my top step account at this point, I would take this off. If this were my top step account, I would pull this right now, okay? I'm just testing my theories, just testing what the market's doing with paper trading. Feels just as real to me as trading top step. The numbers are all the same. Uh, but I'm just testing my own understanding of the market here. So that's why I'm not pulling this, letting it go back potentially into drawdown. I don't believe that the marketplace here on Friday is going to want to close with an inefficiency open. I believe that it is going to want to close efficient. Therefore, it should want to come back down to the pink box. Okay, got a little flash there. Market's becoming a liquid, last 10 minutes of trading on Friday. The book is being pulled rapidly. So you're seeing illiquid price action right now. If you were trading real money, this would be very difficult market conditions as the market uh, has become illiquid. So you are going to see some flashes up and down now. If my order gets filled, it'll probably be on a flash like that. You can see it's covering every inefficiency rapidly because it has to. So we're probably going to get a flash down that will fill me. That'll be my best guess. Um, instead of taking off four here, I'll take off full five if it comes down. I told you that if this were my top step account, I would have taken that $700 profit and taken it off. Okay, are we all clear on that? I would have. 100%. 100,000%. If this were top step, I would have already pulled this. But because this is paper trading, I'm just testing my own theories. Michael's theories, really, not mine. I'm testing my my own understanding. It is my belief that the market will want to close with no efficiencies coming in to the weekend. Therefore, we should get a flash down to close this pink box out. Could be right on the market closing, by the way. Could get an actual flash the minute that the market closed. It could flash down here. It is my belief that that is what it should do. We got eight minutes left, seven minutes left. We should see a significant flash down. Could be on the market close. Um, no inefficiencies higher. Maybe that volume imbalance up there. Tiny inefficiency. We 
We got seven minutes for the cash close. I'll let this position run. Simulate top step five minutes, maybe. We should get a, a significant flash down that fills me. An illiquid flash. I don't think it's going to want to leave that box open. That would be very strange, I think. End of the week, leaving inefficiency in the marketplace. I don't think so. Should want to close that. I'm really pushing the boundaries of my own understanding here, just so you know. Because it is paper trading and I, I have no risk involved here, so I'm just pushing the boundaries of my own understanding of the marketplace. If this were my top step trader, when you saw that thing hit 720 in profit, that would already be out. No doubt in my mind it would already, already be out. I wouldn't have put on two more contracts at all. Okay, got the flash. Ah, flash back up, huh? Okay. Need one more flash down. Big one. Nope. Uh-uh. All right. I was wrong. How about that? No, nope. flash back down. We got five minutes left. This is simulated trading, not real. If you're trading your own money at this point, you needed to already be out. I promise you, you should not be in this marketplace at this point if you are trading real money or even your funded accounts, whatever. Super illiquid book right now. There's almost no orders. All the orders are being pulled. This is dangerous territory in which to be trading right now if you're trading live funds. You know all those risk disclosures from the SEC, CFTC? That, that's, this is what they're talking about right here. You do not want to be in this. This will fuck you up right here. Don't play in this. So, you go look at the order book right now. It's super thin. All the orders are being pulled. Takes nothing to move the market right now. Super illiquid. Very illiquid. It's covering up all the inefficiencies for the for this range up here. I think the last one it fills is that pink box. It's going to leave no stone unturned. The pricing engine is in rapid effect. Watching this intently for my learning. So we had an aggressive AM session, so we get a very passive PM session. Okay, three minutes. I think I'm going to be filled when the market closes. That's when I think it's doing it. I think I'm going to be filled the tick of the market close, cash close. That's what I'm thinking. The minute that the cash close ticks over, I think that's when it, this is filling. The, the book is super thin right now. There's no orders. None. No liquidity. All the liquidity providers are hasta la vista right now. See you next week.
I would be shocked if it wants to leave that pink box open. Thirty seconds. There it is. Covered out that last inefficiency. Push into liquidity, huh? Push into liquidity. Yeah, look at that. It did. Push right into liquidity. Unbelievable. Okay. Did we end positive? We did. We made $945 through a great deal of struggle. A great deal of pain. We did it. 945 paper dollars. It, the market will close efficiently. And that's going to be it for me. Um... I'm going to leave it with that. Um, you know, if you still believe that this market is not automated, I don't tell you if you still think the news matters at all. I don't tell you. Um, wow, look at that push into liquidity. Oh, my Lord, look at that. Look at that. Damn. 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 Two standard deviations lower at the very end of the day. Wow, pricing engine was in full effect. My original targets were going to be hit. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look at that. Pricing engine just kicking your ass right now. Wow. Wow. I was right. That high was a protected high. I was right. This was a one and a half standard, EV, standard deviation move higher. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Came back down to this measuring gap. Filled it. Didn't want to leave that stone unturned. Look at that. See that measuring gap right there? Filled it. I mean, there you have it for your life. Yellow box. Filled it. That's it. Came all the way back down to yellow box. Filled that inefficiency right there. That's how the market ended efficiently. Fair price right there. Yellow box. That was your fair price. It was small. You have to know what you're looking for to see it. That was it. That was the fair price for the pricing engine coming into Friday's close. Pricing engine came in right there, yellow box. Unbelievable. Ironed out pink box. Ironed out yellow box. Unbelievable. Um, okay. Uh, this paper trading session, we used uh, standard deviations. We used advanced gap theory. Uh, we used our theory of what time of the day what time of the day it is, which session it is, etc., etc. We were paper trading. Um, we had top step earlier. We got in on this swing earlier on top step. Pricing engine sometimes can just... Wow. It did want to be efficient coming into uh, the weekend, but it did not want to give it to you until the absolute market and close. Crazy. Crazy. All right. That is the pricing engine in full effect right there. That's the algorithm in full effect. Ironing out all the inefficiencies at the very just last minute. Mm. That was tough. That was tough to see. That was tough to be a part of. All right. Glad I got in my top step reset here up, uh, up in this morning session. Okay. Bye.